ECR, it is many Tega, I mean, many Tega, many young Tega Re33. It's many young Tega Re33. And we're talking about another Astro Projection experience. So basically, uh, I started having dreams. Uh, it's really vague, like just a, a vague representation of who, who I think it is. It's Randy Rhodes. Twin, Randy Randy Rhodes' wife reincarnatus, you know, reincarnated, uh, and she's pretty cool. Like, it's not like a, a sexual thing, like where we're just you know in it for sex or anything like that. She's like really really cool, you know. Um, and I, I'm bearing the cross, like, and the chain. So I got the cross and the chain on me when I'm going to sleep. Uh, that way, you know, I can actually attract folk that are like me that's basically the only way to attract folk that are like you uh all the other stuff like from aaron dowdy and uh ralph smart and none of that really works uh although that's where i started out with but if i would have known this other stuff i would have you know it, that stuff's like kind of just like to guide you to pain and suffering kind of but having the cross, which is pain and suffering symbolically, uh, the chain, and then you carry that cross and the chain, then you actually start to attract who you, what the opposite, the opposite. I'm not saying you're you're not that. I'm not saying you, what you are or what you're not. It doesn't matter. See, that works for everybody. It doesn't matter as long as you have the cross and the chain, you'll attract, uh, you know, different stuff different different stuff than than like all the other stuff they say like you know um like visualizing to materialize like you visualizing something it doesn't matter how like you know much you visualize it like it's not going to make it manifest in your life like it's not going to make it just be there uh you know it's just not it's not you know, um, unless you're on like God 10 mode where everything you visualize, you're literally like shape shifting it into reality, recomposing the the geometric structure of it and composing it right in front of you. If you're if you're on that level, then, yeah, yeah. Visualize to materialize, you know, <laughs> use your imagination. Um, but whenever we talk about this astral projection story, um it started out like I went to sleep, like, I don't know what time I was going to sleep, probably about like 3, 3.30 a.m. or something like, you know, three probably like 4 a.m. or something. Uh, but I was going to sleep and I went to sleep. No, no, it might have been it might have been about 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock at night or, uh, you know, later than 10 o'clock, like 11 or 12. But whatever time it was, I went to sleep. It was either one of those times. I went to sleep, and it was like I was coming out of a dream. Um, I had a dream before that, like an, another night, and I didn't bear the chain and cross. And the folks that I attracted are like the opposite of me. Some of my, some of my, um, what they call it, like shadows, or just like a opposing force or something like that. But um, yeah, I like. I had an experience with uh, Lilith, you know, I was like looking at her body and stuff like that. So I got really close to her, like physical. I know her physical incarnatus, but at the same time, I was I was with that deity. And this other astral projection was similar in the in the fact that there was a girl like the girl that I was like with. Then it, it didn't look like Lilith. But by the time I had. um went the speed of light uh, i started going into the speed of thought and then next thing you know lilith appeared to me uh like she does in many of my dreams that i don't that i don't um have bear the chain and cross uh this is just because me personally like i'm i'm like a archangel gabriel so i attract like demons and stuff like that different types of demons um and this other dream was similar you know I, in the first dream i was like telling a girl i was like hey I, let's i can fly the speed of light let's fly and then um we flew and i just seen like a bunch of like uh white you can equate like a white like a really white aura um with demon 
demon demons yeah but it, it's kind of hard to tell because like you know if there's actually a physically physical body then like they'll have like if they're an angel they'll have like that white around them unless they carry a chaining cross then then they'll be like all demon on the inside and and have all angel on the outside which is what what some folk might prefer you know some other teachings might tell you to go through the suffering but um nah nah who cares who cares about that um my dread like these are my antennas like I was trying to call some folk but i didn't get any calls like um I don't know. And next thing you know, I'm in an, another dream, like next night. And I wake up out of this dream and I realize I'm in a dream. And whenever I realize I'm in a dream, I see a girl. And this girl, I just basically told her, like, I didn't tell her nothing. Like, we just started flying. And she couldn't fly very well, but I could fly um, at the speed of light or whatever. So I, I basically, like, picked her up underneath me. Uh, this is a Randy Rhodes, um, twin, Randy Rhodes' wife, reincarnatus. Uh, maybe, maybe. I, I had a dream about her another night, too. It, it like, well, the thing about it is it, like, kind of looks like her, but again, then again, like, it doesn't look like her, but she's a very beautiful woman. Um, very like petite. Uh, so I was helping her fly, and I'm I'm almost positive it's her. Um, I told her like I didn't tell her nothing. We wasn't talking. So I flew with her. Um, I helped her fly. Like she was like falling down a little bit and I just picked her up and like held her underneath me while I flew fast. And then I took one hand up and I drew a portal. That's how, that's how I make a portal. Like, um, I just drew a portal. Like right now I just made a portal through the phone basically like, um, and whenever I drew that portal in front of us, we were going so fast. Like I just drew that portal and then we went through it. And it was like at the start of the night, as soon as I, I got in REM sleep, like the moment I got in REM sleep, I started to um, like astral project. And I astral projected for like four hours straight with that girl. And then whenever I came back to my house from where we were, from the portal that we were in, um moving at the like speed of thought we um she wasn't there anymore and i decided to fly east at the speed of light and i ended up in the ocean there was a bunch of sharks and i was like i ain't going in there and i grabbed a turtle and i was like i had the turtle and i was trying to fly with the turtle <laughs> you know the turtle couldn't fly by itself i was trying to fly with the turtle and I stayed away from the sharks. Most of the time, whenever I go inside the ocean, like I enjoy it to be lit up where I can see. But I didn't, I didn't really like. I don't know. I could have went with the sharks, but they would be pretty hard to fight if I had to fight them. I mean, like, of course, like always got my thunderbolts, but you know my lightning strikes. But I was like going into the water and as soon as I was going into the water there was like three sharks like right there and I had that turtle I just dropped the turtle and left <laughs> I dropped the turtle and left and I flew I flew like from my house east kind of like in, if you were just like imagining going to like maybe F Alabama or Florida and I went over there and like basically I went to somebody's house and I seen like a bunch of jewelry and I was just like kind of eyeing out the jewelry. I was like, I'm going to get some crystals that way I can like have some power. And I took the like I took the crystals like there was another dream I had where I was like looking through like little sapphires and stuff like that. And I put them in my pocket because I was going to war like in that dream. I think we talked about that one. That was the Antarctica to the moon. I might repost it on here. Um, Antarctica and the moon from, from the South Pole. Um, 
polar vortex. And that's basically what just, I mean, what happened. And I haven't really had any extreme astral rejection since then. Like, and what, like, what's a goal of mine if I do, like, have an astral rejection? Like, I, I want to be, like, so aware that I know exactly what I know now. Like, I want to know what I know now where I can do critical thinking um, because I, I feel like there's something that needs to be done energetically. Like if I could be in a form where I can critically think, you know, I could do things like creation, you know, creation mantra. Uh, I could try to kill folk that need to die in my eyes. Like, you know, go up to their house and look at them and then throw a sun spirit through their chest and try to obliterate them. Or I could go to the sun, wherever the sun is. I haven't been to the sun yet. Uh, I'll go to the sun and, you know, try to send like a huge, a huge solar flare towards this planet, like different stuff like that. Uh, get behind the sun. Like, I don't know. Like my idea, I had an idea is like, like you got Virgos that are like famous, but they're really like the opposite of a Virgo. So like they became a Virgo and then you got, you got those that are Leos. So the ones that are Leos like repel the sun, right? Cause they, they are like Leo on the inside. So I would take all the Leos that I could find. Like, I don't know uh, who's a Leo, a little pump. I would take a little pump, like, Little Pump's kind of one of my buddies whenever I'm doing all this stuff. But I would take him, I would put him behind the sun, and then I would, like, torpedo a sun spear straight to the to the Earth, wherever the Earth was in trajectory. It's kind of hard to see the planet Earth from the sun, so I don't know how I would do that. Um... And I don't really trust Sekhmet or Horse to do anything. They're no help. And that's really what it is, like, a big deal. It's like, nobody's any help, can't be trusted, you know, none of them are smart, none of them are strong. Um, and they kind of just move on their own a par without any like logic or reason but bring they bring like turmoil and destruction like i mean if i did it like that you know i would realize that i could drop a big gigantic chain and a gigantic cross on the planet and i think i think if you had like that symbology on the planet or even did some different stuff like you know take um i could go to wop wop it wop wop it the shower of the way that would that would be a interesting mission go to wop wop it's house get shown the way or um go to the sun for the first time different stuff like that and see see what works and what doesn't work 